What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so now and hit that notification bell button so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So today what I want to talk to you guys about is uh, hair. I want to talk to you guys about hair. And I got a new haircut. I know that it's summer and people are stoked to get new hairstyles. A lot of the shorter hairstyles are actually coming in right now and I know that a lot of you guys who are watching me have wavy hair and I decided to get a haircut a little bit shorter and cut off the length that I had because I felt like it was giving me a little bit too much trouble. Uh, there was too much heat coming in. I had a blow dry all the time. I didn't want to blow dry because it was actually getting too hot and a little bit unbearable. And also, I go to the gym every single day for the most part and I felt like I just didn't want to deal with longer hair and having hair beating my eyes while I worked out. So. What I want to do is go for a little bit of a shorter length on top. And right now, for those of you who know the struggle with wavy hair, you got, you guys know that when your hair is a little bit longer, your hair tends to get a little bit more drier. Uh, you have to blow dry a little bit longer. And it becomes a little bit more brittle and seems a little bit less healthy because of the humidity and the heat. It just kills your hair. And I wanted to go for something a little bit shorter, which allows me to have the same versatility just with not as much length. What Nando did was the same cut, essentially it was a low taper, we call it a low so. If you guys happen to be in San Jose, you guys could hit up Nando's booty spot, link is down below. And so what we did was just the regular taper uh, with about a one guard on the side, the shortest, and the top is all blended all around, as you can see. And, and he cut a lot of the length off the top, I think it was about six inches and now it's probably around four inches on top uh, and it's all actually one length. So I figured that I keep it one length just because it feels a little bit better. I could throw it forward or I could throw it up and I don't have to worry about some pieces being longer than the other. I just feel like I didn't want to take too much uh, responsibility for my hair this summer. So I went just for a little bit shorter but still kept the length up so I could put it up to the side like this. You can see it's a little bit voluminous. Uh, I could toss it all the way forward and leave it messy and I just don't have to worry about having different lengths and having some pieces a little bit heavier than others which is why I decided to just tell him go one length and we'll figure out the different hairstyles. So I figured that it could be a little bit more versatile and I could do more and care less about my hair. So we're going to go ahead and use some chapter. So this is the first hairstyle right here. It's a little bit of a messy quip, a little bit of volume, still using my whole entire length to hold my hair up. Uh, as you can see right here, it's just right when the curls starts to kick in, which is actually pretty fortunate for me. And what I like about this hairstyle is that it's just super easy. So this is the hairstyle number one. And like I said, the top is actually about four inches uh, long. So take that into consideration. Now this next hairstyle, I'm just going to go against my cowlick right here that's right in the center of my forehead and I'm going to try to use that cowlick to create some volume and a little bit more depth into the uh, volume that I have here and let it lay naturally. I'm not going to use any fancy combs, I'm just using my fingers and chapter just for now because like I said, I don't want to be taking too much time waking up in the morning trying to figure out a different hairstyle every single time or perfecting a certain hairstyle. I just want to make sure that I'm able to do whatever I can and step out this house. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to do a mix of the two.
Now what I'm doing is breaking up the front of my fringe up here that's volumized and just making sure that one side is going to one direction and the other one's going to the natural or against the cowlick. As you can see, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of the definition of the cowlick coming in right here. So I'm just doing its thing and I'm just going to be splitting this up and just having a little bit more of a messier, loose look with the front fringe going in different directions. Now what we're doing is just breaking up and parting the actual front fringe and allowing the cowlick to part its natural self like this and we're just going to take the rest of the messy hair and go against where the hair falls naturally to my right side, your left side. Now we're going to go ahead and throw it forward just a little bit. Instead of having it to the back, we're just going to throw it forward, make it a little bit messy, make a messy front fringe, get a little bit of the volume coming in in the back and just letting it settle in and kind of have a nice effect where it's coming up and down to over your forehead, but not covering your forehead. Now we could even do it to the opposite side as well. As you can see, that was that one scoop of chapter that I actually used um, and my hair is shorter than usual so my hair is just a little bit easier to manipulate. Now essentially what we just did is threw it to the opposite side. Nothing fancy, no, no special tools used, honestly, all I did was blow dry my hair in the morning and I didn't even actually use a comb, I just literally used my fingers. Like I said, I wasn't trying to spend too much time, I'm not trying to spend too much time on my hair. Actually doing just a more traditional side part actually more of a defined side part not too messy uh, essentially following the actual steps of a classic side part but not actually following the rules so what I did it was just split it right here where the split of my hair where the actual side part happens naturally in my hair and I'm just making sure that this part is manicured a little bit better and I'm focusing on this area finger combs only nothing special 360 time let's see Now what I'm going to do is do the complete opposite on the opposite side uh, using the cowlick that I have. Uh, if you guys want to create this and don't have a cowlick, it's probably easier for you as well if you use hairspray and a little bit of heat just to boost it up. But essentially what I'm going to do is just part it on the side. This is the natural way it falls. Now let's go ahead and do a very messy forward front fringe covering the forehead. More of this uh, new way that people are actually combing the hair now, like the crop fringe that everyone's doing. The top is a lot tussled, a lot of texture, very messy. The good thing that when you get an all even haircut, it's great on top because then you won't have pieces that are overlapping one another and then that's going to take away from actually being able to be a little bit more versatile because 
then it's just going to weigh on top of each other so the crown might just overweigh the front portion of your hair and then you're not going to be able to see that texture and everything's just going to kind of come in together at one length and the texture is going to be hidden underneath uh, the top longest layer. So that's why I like to have my hair all one length as well because then you can see texture and you can actually fake texture by using the right product and also the way you're blow drying your hair. So that's a good tip for you guys to take into consideration. This is more of a crop top looking hairstyle where we're just tossing everything forward, uh, letting everything be a little natural, allowing the natural texture to do its thing, and actually, and almost going over the eyebrows. So this is a very fun hairstyle as well because after I do anything, so if I go swimming, if I do, if I wear my motorcycle helmet or anything like that where I, hair, where I feel like my hair is going to be a little bit frizzy or messy, then I consider this hairstyle all the time because, because it's the way to go because there's no losing and you're just going to put it messy forward anyway, so just let it fall. And now we're going to go ahead and use a little bit more of the chapter styling cream and I'm just going to try to see if I could actually throw it back some and make it fall back a little bit. Kind of like uh, a messy, slick back hairstyle with wavy hair. So with just a little bit more of the chapter styling cream, I'm able to do like a messy slick back as well. For those of you who like your hair combed back, uh, I'm, all I'm doing is making sure that the top is going towards the back and also making sure that where the uh, actual taper happens, just make sure I slick that back just a little bit more to give that effect that the hair is going back. And it's also going to, going to allow a little nice contour to your face when your hair is back because all, as you can see, all of the volume and the high portion of your hair is going to contour into your chin. So this is good to do if you want a messy slick back. And I think that I will consider this a slick back. Let me know what you think. I think with just a little bit uh, time to play with your hair, depending on what you want to do with it, you're definitely going to get it with this hair length. And also, if you have wavy hair, you don't need any special tools. Don't try to straighten your hair out. And you're, and when you do have wavy, curly hair uh, to a point where you're actually able to manage it, then you have the best hair. So take advantage of it. So guys, I am out of ideas for hairstyles. And this is exactly what I use to make all my hairstyles. And this is a one scoop, except for the last one that I used to do the slick back because I was playing with my hair so much and I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of uh, power to strength the slick back, which is why I use the chapter styling cream. Uh, you guys can get this at chapterhair.com and Carlos upon checkout. But let me know what hairstyle you guys like the most. Uh, if you guys want me to do a dedicated video on a particular hairstyle or want me to do more uh, videos like this where I could just do more hairstyles in one video, then that'd be awesome as well. Then I'll be awesome as well uh, with one haircut because obviously this is one haircut with multiple hairstyles. I think I did five or six. Let me know down below how many I did because I lost count. And let me know which one your favorite one was. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys want me to do with my hair next and I will do that. Don't forget to put style on everything. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. It's hot and I'm out.